What's up guys, welcome to the third video on our tutorial series. Today I'm going to take care of the zombie AI and, and what I'm thinking I'm going to do is make the zombie spawn, then they're going to detect which player is closer to them and then they will attack him. Uh, so just go and to the blueprints characters and double click zombie character and this is what we have done. Uh, we have a custom event for the AI move to and what I'm going to do uh, so first what we're going to do is spawn them, so they spawn then they're going to find which player is closer to them, so I'm going to create a new custom event and I'm going to call it server find closest player so I'm just going to tell the server to do that uh, so how are we going to do that well first of all we're going to need to get all actors of class we need to find all the players that's going to be the type player character and we're going to do a for each loop and then we're going to do a node that is called get distance to so the target is going to be uh, the player and the other actor is going to be ourselves, the zombie. And then if okay, now we're going to need a new variable, a float. So I'm just going to promote this to a variable, and it's going to be so the closest distance. I'm gonna make that replicated, and I'm gonna add the default because um, the first time we check. Uh, the closest distance cannot be zero because um, obviously nothing is going to be closer than zero so the first time the default value we want it to be a pretty high number so I'm gonna do something like this and I'm going to uh, disconnect this so if the, the return value is uh, let me see is bigger Oh, uh, sorry, smaller of the closest distance. We are then going to well set the closest distance to the new value. And then we're gonna let know the zombie that he got a uh, a new target actor because um, we're getting all the players then we're checking well uh, is the distance to the zombie to the player uh, smaller than the closest distance if it is we need to override the last closest distance to be that one and then we're gonna need to let know the zombie that we want we want them to move to uh, the new target player, so the new uh, closest player. And this closest player is going to be this array element. There you go. And again, every time we check this we need to reset um, our closest distance variable uh, to its default value which is a really high number so just put a lot of nines in there there you go save now in the event begin play we no longer want to do this we want to uh, find the closest player and then we need to constantly check for this so I'm gonna drop a delay here. It can be off point two, and then just redo this. So we're gonna be constantly checking for new closest player, and if there is a new player, we're gonna move to him. So I'm going to compile and save, and left. Let's see if this works in game. So I'm going to play. Just going to ready up the clients. Ready, ready and click start so let's see 
we got the spawn zombie over here we can now see that both of them are moving towards me and that zombie is already moving to the, that player but if I get closer he's going to switch uh, direction and he's going to try to chase me uh, so, but if I run and get behind this player uh, the zombies are going to change direction and charge that player but if with this player if I run away they're gonna go back to the original one and if I try to move closer to these guys they're going to change back and chase me they're kind of freaking out yeah, that's because they are trying to well this player should be dead already f uh, of course but we do not get uh, damage implementation yet that's for future videos but as you can see what we wanted to implement we got it done so they are constantly checking for a closest player if I run away they're gonna change their target to who is closer now we need to make the zombies attack so we need to go over here to this server I moved to and on success we're gonna want the you're gonna want the um, I'm sorry we're gonna want the the zombie to attack the player if he successfully gets to the player position so first of all I'm gonna make this acceptance radius uh, at 30 so um, they don't really need to come to your face to to be, uh, to be successfully on your position so they you have a little space and I'm going to create a new custom event call attack uh, and I'm gonna call this um, let me go all attack player the reason that I'm calling it to hall is because we're going to do a multicast because we want both the server and the client to play the, the attack animation and all of that stuff uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here we're gonna so first of all we want to set first of all we want to make sure that the zombie stopped so I'm gonna set the max walk speed to zero uh, because we do not want them to play um, an attack animation while he's moving we might want to do that later if we blend uh, like the upper body animation with the walking animation so we can make him move and uh, like try to punch you at the same time but that's uh, stuff for later on right now I'm gonna do it simple so I'm going to play an animation uh, on the mesh and I'm going that animation is going to be the attack one I'm not going to loop it then I'm going to do a delay and this delay is going to be of the timer uh, pretty much of this animation so I'm gonna check which one it is and as you can see here uh, it got 2.633 seconds I'm gonna make it I don't know 2.5 on this delay so we got plenty of time to run almost the animation and then I'm going to grab the mesh and set the anim the animation mode to uh, the blueprint so we let know that the mesh can use the animation blueprint again instead of playing this animation so I'm going to compile and save and on success there you go we're going to attack the player So yeah, uh, I think there's going to be problems with this, but I'm going to uh, do a, s a quick play and see what happens. Ready up and play. So let's just see, the zombies spawn, they're going to come to me, they're going to try and attack me. There you go, I've been attacked, they're going to try and chase me. Okay, that zombie stopped, and I, I know why because they're gonna attack me and then they're going to stop get back to their animation blueprint but they're not going to chase me because on success they're just going to stop so what we actually need to do is well we're going to attack the player and after we attack the player we're gonna do a quick delay with the same timer as up here 2.5 or actually no I think I, I forgot something yeah um, before we do this 
we need to uh, set the max walk speed because the reason that they're not uh, walking is because they do not got speed I'm going to just promote this to a variable and I'm gonna call them call this a uh, movement speed and this is just so if we like in later rounds we want the zombies to move faster so the default speed I believe it's 200 there you go max walk speed 200 so just put that on the default on the variable compile save I think there's gonna still be problems but let's play again this is everything that we do while developing a game we spend a lot of time debugging and testing stuff so uh, see the mistakes that I do so you learn why and how to correct them it's uh, like the the point of the tutorial is for that so I'm gonna wait for them to attack me so they attack and uh, they complete their attack animation and they're just gonna get back to me and if I stay here they're just gonna keep attacking and if I get away they're gonna try and chase me that's the thing that I said so while they're playing the animation if I run away they're gonna stop while attacking uh, later on we might want to make them still chasing us and um, while uh, playing the upper body animation of the attack as you can see here the animations are working properly if we change back to a client to see if the replication is doing everything correctly we can still run away they're gonna try and chase me again and attack me and if we go up here we can see that they are attacking everyone so everything's working fine I believe uh, let's see if we can get the zombie to chase me okay they can't because they, they are too close to that player you can see those zombies are now going to the closest player and everything is working because we don't have damage implementation the, they're just gonna keep uh, attacking and nothing's gonna happen so I'm gonna close now and I think I'm gonna leave it for now I uh, actually don't need to do this delay we can delete that I think th this is the, the basic implementation we might want to do more advanced stuff later on but for now uh, the zombie is figuring out the closest player and attacking later on we might have barriers and like blockaded doors gonna need to make them um, you know try to destroy them before they can get to us but before we implement all of that this is uh, pretty fine is everything that we need so yeah I think I'm gonna leave this video here in the next video I'm going to implement a uh, player uh, getting damaged by the zombies and kinda create a way of the players to die and you know respawn uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it so thank you guys so much for watching um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got any doubts don't forget to um, leave a comment and I'll try to help any way I can even if I have to do a separate video but yeah I just want you guys to learn so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye